Thank you for the answer there. Uh, next question is about veterans. We know that New Hampshire has a large veterans population, so we went to the VA Medical Center in Manchester to find out what was on the minds of our state's veterans and the issues more, most important to them. Here is former Army nurse Diane Klotz on her top concern as a veteran. Get all of our homeless veterans uh, into housing, some kind of housing, schools that are closing or nursing homes that are closing. There's got to be somewhere to put these veterans that are homeless and get them the care that they need. Senator Kelly, first to you, what can the state do for our homeless veterans? Well, I will just say here's a, a very good example that uh, New Hampshire is not working for everyone. Um, we are talking about veterans who are homeless. Um, they must be our priority. What they have done with their lives and given uh, for all of us and that we have uh, veterans here in our state who are homeless is unacceptable. And we need to be able to uh, fund housing and to provide uh, workforce and job training uh, to our veterans who are the very first people that uh, are there for us and we need to be there for them. Governor Sununu, same to you. What to do about homeless veterans? You know, this is one of those issues where one is too many, right? We know that if, if, if we even got that number down to one homeless veteran, it's too many. So on issues of homelessness, given our very robust economy, we are very aggressive right off the bat. Um, and I'm going to evoke the story of when I, I brought all my commissioners and we slept out on the streets of Manchester with Child and Family Services. We raised over $30,000 to bring awareness to the homelessness issue across the state in every community. Uh, it affects a lot of people. Tonight, on any given night, about 300 kids will be homeless in Manchester, right? That's a travesty. So of course we have to be out front. And it isn't just with funding, it's with spearheading the efforts, it's with working with the nonprofits that are providing those opportunities for individuals. In the issue with veterans, it's working with everything from the VA hospital to the mental illness issues that often co-occur with homelessness. Making sure we're reaching out to them, not as an institution, not just by throwing money at it, by really reaching out to them as individuals, one-on-one, -on -one, finding where the system failed them, where those gaps in services really are. That's how you get the best results. And given the, the kind of small state we have, the low, low bureaucracy, um, we can really have the opportunity to wade through as individuals.